Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to draw an ocelot. So to start off with our ocelot, we're going to begin with the eyes. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then kind of back down at an angle like this. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then back down like this. Then I'm going to draw these two lines out just a little bit. And then I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves in between them. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of makes almost like a stretched out V, almost kind of like a U shape, but it has a little bit of a point. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down to here. And then a line over here that's just going to curve down over here for the side of the face. Then right here under the nose, I'm going to draw a line that goes down. And I'm going to kind of go down at an angle and then curve up. And then right here, I'm going to go down at an angle and then just kind of curve up. Then right here, I'm just going to go down and up for the bottom of the chin. Then they have kind of big ears. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves in and then up. And then it's just going to go down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to curve up and then up and then just kind of curve down like this. Then I'm going to draw a little line here and a little line here. And then I'm just going to draw a curved line right here for the top of the head. Now in here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes kind of curves around and then draws around the ear. And I'm just going to do the same thing here. Now for the body. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves out and then back in for the neck. And then right here, kind of out and then back in. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up. And then I'm going to go up real high for the back and then just kind of curve down here. Then starting here, I'm just going to kind of curve down and just kind of curve in. Then starting here, I'm just going to kind of curve down and out like this for the leg. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves down and around. And then I'm just going to bring this up and just going to kind of go in and up for the leg. I'm going to connect this line. Now right here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down and then kind of curves around. And then I'm just going to kind of bring it back up for the other leg. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves up and down. And then right here, I'm just going to curve this line, and I'm going to bring it back like this, and then angle it down. Then I'm just going to curve this line around here, and flatten it out like this for the foot. And then I'm just going to curve this up, and bring it back, and then curve it around. I want to leave some space right there. And I'm actually going to bring this line up here at more of a curve. Then right here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down at an angle. And then it's going to kind of curve around. And then come around here for another foot. And then I'm just going to go up at an angle and then curve in and up. Then right here for the tail, they have a long tail, so I'm just going to kind of curve it down and up like this and curve back around. 
And then I want the tail to be kind of bushy at the bottom and kind of furry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some of these little kind of pointy, spiky lines that are going to follow the curve all the way to the end of the tail. Now for the eyes. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a big pupil in each one. And then I'm going to color that in. I'm just going to leave a little bit of it white towards the top. Now they have lots of different stripes and everything on them. So I'm just going to draw some kind of lines coming down here. They almost have like a mix of stripes and spots. So they have a couple lines here. They have a couple lines above their eyes. They have some lines coming off the top of their head. They have a few more little lines kind of around their eyes. Then they also have a big line that comes up here to the eye, and then they have a lot of dark black lines underneath their eyes. And then it goes down to their nose. And then it kind of spreads out towards their cheeks. And then they have some more big lines around here. And kind of like how tigers have on their face, they have like these spots that start out big on their cheeks and then slowly get smaller. Now, on their legs up here, they're going to have like a big kind of stripe pattern like this. And then they're also going to have like some different stripes that kind of come down their neck. Might have a couple more here. They're also going to have some little spots and everything around here. Now their spots are almost kind of in a stripe pattern as they go down their back. So I'm going to kind of make these spots and they're just going to kind of be in rows so that they almost kind of form stripes down their back. So you can see it's all these little stretched out spots but they're kind of in a row. So then I'm going to make some more right along here. Just going to push them all the way around here, just kind of following a curve. Then I'm just going to put some more up here, and I'm just going to kind of keep making these all the way along the body. And we're going to put some more over here. Then as you get towards the stomach, they have like some stripes kind of coming up their stomach. And then just kind of like some random little spots all over. And then they're going to have lots of different spots all on their legs. And you definitely want to put some over on this side too. And then just kind of fill up the, the legs with some big spots and some little spots. Put some here. And then this leg, they're also going to have some of these big stripe patterns going along here. And I'm just going to kind of fill these up in here. Now their tail's almost all black, so I'm just going to draw some of these kind of like pointy, almost like stripe pattern down here. And then I'm going to add some big spots there where there's going to be some more little like spaces of white. Now for their feet, I'm just going to add some little curved lines for their toes. And just a couple more here. And then we want to give them some whiskers like that. And there you go. There is your drawing of an ocelot. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.